All right, guys. I think we might still get a few people coming in, uh, but I think we'll make a start now. Um, so just to introduce myself, I'm Melissa. I'm a business advisor at the Growth Hub. Um, and today we've got Phil McCartney talking to us. So he's the manager of the National Career Service in Staffordshire, and he'll be talking through the triage service for recruitment and redundancy. Um, we're also joined by Tom Nadine, who is from the Staffordshire Chambers of Commerce who will be talking you through the new startup business programme that we've got going on. Um, and Joe Gill, a HR specialist advisor from the Growth Hub, and Becky Parker, who'll just do an introduction to the Growth Hub and the Business Helpline. She's also an accredited business advisor. So Phil, over to you. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm Phil McCartney. I am the Relationship Manager for the National Career Service for Stoke and Staffordshire. Um, I work for a company called Prospect. We're the prime contractors for the West Midlands. Um, we have worked in the Staffordshire area as Prospect for some time, I believe for about five years now. And within that time, we've worked very, very closely with the Staffordshire LEP. Um, as a result of the um, COVID-19 pandemic, we've worked very, we've worked very closely together to put together a triage service to support employers and employees who are impacted. And we have got a PowerPoint presentation, so you don't have to listen to my voice. Um, I think Melissa's got that to play for us now. Yep, so I'll just share my screen with you guys. Stoke on Trent and Staffordshire Redundancy and Recruitment Triage Service. The Stoke on Trent and Staffordshire LEP is working with partners, including the National Career Service West Midlands, to support businesses and employees experiencing redundancies as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic to find new employment where gaps are appearing in the labour market. If you are an employer who is having to make staff redundant during these difficult times, there is free support available for you and your employees through the Redundancy and Recruitment Triage Service. The service supports employers facing redundancies to help their employees smoothly transition into new work opportunities. It also supports those who have lost their jobs back into employment. The service matches those recently made redundant with new work in sectors which are currently experiencing growth, such as health and social care, food retail, wholesale and distribution. The National Career Service offers free and impartial careers information, advice and guidance. This triage service is available to employers of all sizes and can support your employees with a bespoke and rapid response service based on their needs to help them find alternative employment. This is a completely free service aimed at supporting employers in Stoke-on-Trent and Staffordshire. Our qualified careers advisors can provide a range of one-to-one -one support to help your employees plan their next steps. This includes, but is not limited to, job matching to current vacancies based on their existing skills and experience, job searching and support with online applications, CV development, skills analysis and career planning, and understanding the local labour market. Your employees will receive a personalised careers appointment based on their individual needs and goals. We are working with key partners across the LEP area and can offer impartial signposting to a range of other useful sources of support. If you are an employer who would like support, please contact us on 0121 296 5550 or call 07879 603 635. If you are an employee who has been affected by redundancy and you would like to receive career support directly, you can call us on 0800 100 900. Thank you. We are doing our business as usual. So traditionally as a service, we work very closely with the DWP and we work with um, the unemployed to get into work. And um, our services also offer skills health checks for people who are working, who are looking at their options. Um, I suppose our tagline is we're not just a CV service. However, if you are someone who needs a CV, we will be your CV service. Um, we're offering support to furloughed staff also. So we're giving advice on skills available or skills development opportunities across both Staffordshire and nationally 
the people who are furloughed, who are looking to upskill during this time. Um, I suppose in a nutshell, that, that, that's what we're doing. Um, I don't think there's any more that I can add to that really, rather than our very enlightening PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> no, that's brilliant, Phil, because obviously it's really testing times right now and tough for a lot of people. So that's great for to be informed about that. So thank you very much. Um, if Guys, if you've got any questions, by the way, about anything that Phil's uh, spoken about or the presentation, um, we've got a question and answer box down at the bottom. So again, where the chat function is, You'll, you should see a Q and A. Um, if you just click on that, you can drop any questions in that throughout the entire duration of this uh, webinar, and we'll answer them at the end. Um, if you can't find that function for any reason, just pop them in the chat box, and we can uh, answer them from there too. Um, so thank you again for that, Phil. That was really great. Um, so over to you then now, please, Joe. Thank you, Melissa. Um, hi, I'm Joe. I'm the Head Growth of HR Advisor as part of the Growth Hub team. Um, my job in normal times is to assist businesses with any sort of HR process uh, that they have to go through. Um, one which is unfortunately probably going to be quite common for a lot of employers coming up is redundancies. Um, so I'm just able to sort of help you advise you on the process, um, signpost you into obviously the National Careers Service and Phil. Um, signpost you into other guys like Tom, uh, who is obviously going to cover his bit in a bit, and Becky as well for the general business support. Now, on the HR side of stuff, I can help you sort of with your redundancy plan for any employers. So that would be in stuff like, you know, making your redundancy plan, um, sort of how you can look at avoiding compulsory redundancies, um, the consultation process that you have to go through with your employees. Uh, also the selection process, what to do and what not to do in the uh, selection process, uh, how the notice works of it in time frames, things like that. Um, can also give you a bit of advice on how redundancy pay is calculated. Uh, that's something I can touch on with you. And also how you're going to support your staff um, at this current time and plan for the future as well, which obviously may involve... Uh, Get, putting you in touch with Phil hopefully um, so that's just an overview a short overview of what I can sort of assist you with obviously today it's it's a public webinar that is recorded so please don't ask me anything too specific about your business um, if you do have specific questions though and you want specific information regarding to your business please drop me an email which I popped in the chat box uh, thank you very much Melissa um, I'm here to take any generic questions about the process though just that's great. Sorry, Joe. I think it might have been my computer, but you phrased a little bit there. Thank you for that. Um, so, Tom, I think over to you if you want to chat a bit about the uh, new startup programme, please. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. So, I'm Tom Nadian. I'm a project manager at Staffs Chambers of Commerce. So, I look after our kind of current business startup programme. So, the Chambers have been supporting individuals to start their own business now for uh, over 10 years, and we've had some kind of really great success stories from that. Um, we support about kind of 360 individuals who come onto our courses, and about 180 of those then go on to start their kind of own business from that. So, we have a really good kind of success rate with those businesses who want to start and kind of do start, and a good survival rates as well. Uh, we've been lucky that Staffordshire County Council have now commissioned us, the Chamber, to expand our delivery of our startup programme to a new Staffordshire startup programme. So what this will be offering is free business startup advice, mentoring and support to people who are wanting to start their own business across the county. So I thought what I would do today is just give you a little bit kind of an, an overview of what kind of our programme consists of, then kind of who the sessions are for, how it benefits businesses, and also then kind of how you can access it as well. So. Um, our Staffordshire Startup Programme consists of four stages. Um, the first one is an awareness session. So these are, uh, what this is, is this takes an individual through kind of all of the basics of starting a business. This includes things like business structure, um, basics around business planning, um, goes into little bits around kind of taxation and kind of, kind of what you need to kind of be aware of on taxation when starting a business. And it also then covers the realities of owning and running kind of a business because a lot of people kind of go into kind of with the idea of wanting to start a business. Once they start to understand kind of the complexities and maybe some of the challenges around it, 
they realize that it might not actually be for them it might not be kind of what they were looking for so that's the first session and um, the first kind of stage of the program is an awareness session if someone then still wants to take their business idea forward what we then move them on to then is our master class so this is then a lot more in depth looking at kind of the aspects of the business plan so it covers things like cash flow forecasting personal survival budgets uh, marketing social media so it gives the individual a really good insight into how much money they could potentially make from their business idea and that's quite eye-opening for a lot of individuals because we get people who are potentially making career changes and when they see that potentially their income could be a lot lower in their business idea or on the flip side kind of a lot more it kind of really opens their eyes onto how much they're going to make and also with the marketing and social media that we cover it kind of really gives them an insight in kind of their route to market and who their potential audience is going to be to really help them to make their startup business kind of that success um, the third stage then if they still want to take their idea forward is that we then provide a one-to-one -one session so this provides the individual with the opportunity to meet with one of our experienced business advisors and gives them the chance to ask kind of more in-depth questions around their business idea so it could be, for example, that they're looking to start a, a manufacturing business or an engineering company. We can provide them with actual tailored, bespoke information and advice around starting that um, engineering manufacturing company. Some of the health and safety risks, some of the things that they need to consider, kind of how to attract customers, all that kind of advice we can provide at that kind of one-to-one -one stage. Our fourth and final stage is then we expect, if that business kind of wants to move forward, we expect the business to start before the final stage. And that is then our one, two, three club. So this is a networking group for businesses in their first one to three years. And the idea of this is it gives them an opportunity to network with other startup businesses to develop their business. And we also put on through those key speakers on topics which are of importance to startups. So in the past, we've run things around kind of confidence boosting workshops, um, how to pitch your business in an elevator. So how to kind of develop your business, how to potentially trade internationally. So that's something that startup businesses don't really think about kind of when they're starting off, but it is kind of really crucial. And there is kind of a wide market out there, not just within the UK. Uh, we do drop-in sessions for specific sectors. We've started to do sessions around kind of early warning signs of crisis and how to kind of overcome them. And we're also doing kind of one-to-one -one sessions on specific training needs that that individual who's running that business might need. And we're running those alongside the Subcontract and Staff Shift Skills Hub. So these sessions would normally take place and be delivered in a classroom or face-to-face -face, um, scenario, but obviously with everything that's going on at the minute, we are delivering our provision virtually. So that is either over telephone or through um, meetings just like this through Zoom, just to meet the client's needs and so that everybody is safe and can still access the support. So who are these sessions for? So it is really anyone who's looking to start their own business. So this could be people who've just been made redundant, which is kind of what this session's about. It could be people who are looking potentially for a career change. Uh, we have people who leave education who come to us. We have the long-term unemployed. And we also get people who are looking to run a business while continuing to be in work, which we call a side hustle. So that's when they start their own business, but continue in their job or workplace at the same time. We're also looking to support businesses directly as well. who we might be looking to make some of their employees redundant, as I've mentioned, especially during these difficult times. What we're offering to um, businesses who might be going through this is that we can actually deliver sessions which are only open to your members of staff. So those who might be at risk of redundancy but might may be interested in starting a business, we can run virtual sessions for those individuals. So these bespoke sessions allow staff to be in a more kind of comfortable setting. They'll be with colleagues that they know. They'll be a bit more kind of free and kind of uh, relaxed about asking questions and we can then bespoke the sessions to what they're particularly looking at. So we can work with the business to understand what kind of startups that the, your kind of employees might be looking at. So from a business's point of view, it then kind of helps to show that despite the difficult decisions that you might have to make around kind of redundancies in your staff, that you are still kind of keen and kind of there to help to support those who will be impacted as much as possible. So kind of how to access support, access the support. So, um, we're delivering sessions kind of all of the time at the minute, but the best way to register your interest is through the Subcontract and Staffordshire Growth Hub. And that is then through the usual methods. So contact Becky. Becky will cover this in a second during her session. But kind of make contact with Becky. Becky will take all of the information and then one of our business startup advisors will be in touch, understand kind of what that individual is looking to do or what that business is kind of wanting to do for their staff. And we will then develop kind of the, the sessions and kind of send people in the right direction which they need to. So 
So I think that's it from me. So, but I'm willing to take questions at the end, just like everybody else. Thank you. That was really great, Tom. Thank you. Um, so like Tom said, keep popping your questions in the chat. I know Phil's been going through and answering some of them. So that's great. Thank you, Phil. Um, and now over to Becky Parker, who'll be talking about the Growth Hub. when she discovers the unmute function. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, everybody. Um, my name is Becky Parker. I'm a business advisor for the Stoke on Trenton Staffordshire Growth Hub. I manage the business support helpline and take any of the web inquiries as well for existing businesses. Um, I think from, from what I can tell, we've got a, a mixed audience of participants here. So either individuals, employees potentially facing redundancy as a result of COVID, um, but also businesses, employers potentially going through that consultation process. So I just wanted to use this as an opportunity really to create some awareness about the Growth Hub um, and the support that we offer. So we are a fully funded free of charge service. Um, we almost act as a broker, if you like, of, of funded business support. As a Growth Hub, we partner with over 120 partner organisations across the county. So if it's specific HR advice, and this is where Joe's support comes in, it may be marketing, recruitment, access to funding and finance, whether it's Siebel's or or um, bounce back loans, coronavirus survival funds, those kinds of things um, would come through to me on the business support helpline. I've popped that in the chat function, but I'll just reiterate the number as well at the end, along with uh, reference to our website, which anybody can sort of send um, a confidential email to business inquiries. That comes over to me as an advisor uh, and will assess what support's available and act as that signposting service. So for individuals, I think just to reiterate Tom's support, really, um, for anybody that's considering self-employment, so the startup programme inquiries would come to me, even if that's just a tentative inquiry at this stage, um, or as a business, if you're seeking business support, then again, that can come over to me as a business advisor um, and we'll marry in the most appropriate support. We also offer a, a fully um, funded free of charge one-to-one -one diagnostic. So again, if you wanted to have that um, sort of confidential conversation of, as, as to what business support is available to you, then please get in contact. Uh, to reiterate the business helpline number, and then we'll pop it in the chat function, um, you can reach me on 0300 triple one eight double zero two uh the business inquiries email address is probably a bit too long to to recite actually so I'll, I'll pop that in the chat and i welcome any questions at the end thanks thank you that's great thank you becky um yeah just to reiterate what becky said uh, all the uh, guys contact details are in the chat so if you do want to contact uh, one of the speakers off aside from the webinar then just have a little look in the chat at uh, their email addresses there and it's open for you guys to uh, welcome any inquiries um i think phil's been answering the questions as we've been going along so we don't have any questions as of now if any of you do have any more questions uh, you'd like to ask then please just pop them in the chat um in the q a sorry um We'll welcome all questions about anything that the guys have said. Uh, I just, from our point of view, Phil, we just uh, really would like to thank you for joining us today for the webinar. And we also have a question from Amy Dudley. Uh, thank you, Amy. So she says she's a partnership coordinator for Circo who can support businesses with fully funded training. Um, so she works in partnership with Phil and the team, the DWP and other stakeholders, including us as a growth hub. Uh, and her details are also in there as well. Thank you, Amy. If I, if I can just add to that, the, the triage service is a partnership of lots of different organisations. Yeah, we've got involvement from Serco on their contracts. Um, we're working very closely with both Staffs County Council, the Borough and District Councils and Stoke City Council. Um, and as such as Caroline has just sent the message, we're working with all partner referral agencies to ensure that we're giving the best to the individuals who are accessing the service. So if there are any other partner um, partners on the call who feel that they would either benefit by supporting us, please do contact me and we can find out the best way that we can work together. Brilliant, thank you. Um, Phil. Sorry to interrupt, just based on, on, on your response there, can I just ask a question for yeah. any prospective employers that have opportunities um, 
can they come to you as well as part of that triage service that you offer? They certainly can. So the way that the triage service works, it's designed to be a rapid response. Um, so that really, so that we can ensure that people aren't impacted um, massively by what is happening. Um, one of the services that we are providing is a job matching service. And as it said in the PowerPoint presentation, many of the opportunities that we've got are in the key growth sectors. Um, but so, you know, we've got jobs across the board. So if there was a company who had vacancies that they were looking to fill, we would certainly love to have those vacancies on our matrix. And we can certainly share those out with people who contact us who, contact us who are looking for work. So that'd be fantastic. That would be a huge aid for us. Okay. Um, I don't think we've got any more questions. Is there anything, um, any more the advisors or the speakers you guys would like to say before we close today's webinar? No, all good. <laughs> so just to reiterate then guys, all the um, email addresses are in the Zoom chat. Um, and just once again, Phil, thank you for joining us. And thank you, Tom, Joe and Becky uh, for all the information there as well. There is support out there guys um, during this uncertain time. Uh, so thank you very much from the growth book to Phil. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right, so if that's everything, I think we close the webinar now. Thank you to all the attendees for joining us well today. I hope you got out of it what you needed and uh, you've got the contact details as well there. So thank you everybody.